I'm Trey Leatherwood with Computer Clarity, and we're bringing you this series of short training videos teaching you how to use your computer better, covering Windows, Word, Excel, Outlook, security software, and many other applications. We appreciate you watching this video and truly hope that it helps. Look for our other videos on YouTube, Facebook, or on our website at www.computerclarity.com. In this video, I will demonstrate the first steps in solving screen resolution problems that are caused by corrupted, incorrect, or missing video drivers. In another video, I demonstrated how to change your video display properties, including resolution. Now you do that on a window that looks similar to this, with the slider that looked like this. But one viewer asked, what do you do if you can't change the screen resolution? You can't move the slider back and forth to change how many pixels are on the screen at a time. This can be caused by several things, including failing video adapter hardware, a computer that will only boot into safe mode or some other limited boot mode, or missing, incorrect, or corrupted video drivers. Now, because it's easy for anyone to repair, I'll cover the last possibility. First, a driver is simply some software instructions that tells Windows how to operate some hardware device. If Windows is missing these instructions, has the wrong instructions, or just can't understand them, that device will not function correctly. Now, to start off with, I'm working in Windows Vista right now, but I'll demonstrate how this will work with Windows XP as well, and it will look very similar in Windows 7 also. Now in Windows Vista, I'm going to right-click on Computer. XP would be right-clicking on My Computer, and go to Properties. Now if you can't find your My Computer icon here, you might also see it in the Start menu under Computer or My Computer. And if it's not there, you'll also see it in the Control Panel. In the control panel in Windows Vista, you'll find it under Hardware and Sound, and then you'll find it under Device Manager. In Windows XP, if you go into the control panel, it will look more like this, and you will look for something called System. In Windows XP, if you go to System Properties, you'll see a window that looks like this. You'll click on Hardware, and then click on the Device Manager button. In the Device Manager, you'll see a list of all the hardware devices that Windows is aware of. Each one of these represents hardware device, but it actually is telling you if Windows has a driver for that hardware. If you have a problem with any of these devices, you'll see that the, the tree is expanded and there would be a red X or a yellow exclamation point next to whatever that device is. For this particular problem, it will be under the Device Adapters. Now you'll have several device adapters. You may have some that look like mirrored devices or something else that is not a true device. And then you'll have one that is your, actually your video adapter. This is the one that may have the red X on it if you're having this problem. If you see a name of a video adapter here, be sure to write this down. In this case, the name of my video adapter is NVIDIA Quadro FX570M. That will be important if we have to download the driver later on. If you have a red X across this icon next to this device in the Device Manager, right-click on this device and hit Uninstall. Now when you hit Uninstall, it will ask you to confirm the installation. You'll hit OK and then reboot your computer. When you reboot your computer at this point, Windows will automatically go and look for the driver that is used for that device. Windows will automatically go out and look for the driver that is used for that device. If for some reason when you reboot your computer Windows does not find that driver, then you'll have to go to that manufacturer's website and look for that driver. So in my case, I'll be looking for NVIDIA's website. Within the manufacturer's website, they will give me some way that I can find support and drivers. In the case of NVIDIA, I'll have to first select the country and the link for download drivers. And I am looking for an NVIDIA Quadro in this case. 
FX570, so FX series. 570 and I want the Quadro Pro driver for whichever operating system I'm using right now and then I'll hit search. This gives me a place to immediately download the proper drivers. If for some reason you can't identify the name or the type of video adapter that you're looking for, look for another video that I have for identifying hardware devices and finding hard to find drivers. Thank you for watching our video instructional series. I'm Trey Leatherwood with Computer Clarity. If you have any questions about this video or any other computer issues, please go to our website at www.computerclarity.com or call us at 877-434-8822.